Many of you may not know this, but I actually enjoy playing Magic the Gathering. And recently they released a uh, special set, well, it's not even special. It's called the Battle for Zendikar. And when they released this set, they released a certain style of creature called the Eldrazi. The Eldrazi are an ancient war race from another world. They're actually ethereal creatures, meaning they're spirits. And what had happened was three planeswalkers went to fight them. Uh, Yugen the Dragon Spirit, Soren Markov, and Nahiri. I don't remember exactly what she was, but the three of them went to fight them. And they had lured them to the plain of Zendikar, namely the, the Akum Mountains. And what had happened was, that's where they manifested their physical form, because they were feeding off the raw mana of the the land and everything. They put him to sleep through Nahiri creating hedron, hedrons, which are like the bars of a prison, prison cell. And Yugen and Soren and Nahiri created a spell that mocked them in but put them to sleep. Well, three other planeswalkers went to capture the Eye of Yugen, which is an artifact. When they did so, they awoke these beasts. And one of my favorites actually came out in a pre-construct called the uh, Zendikar vs. Eldrazi. And it was called it's called the It That Betrays. And I'll get to that one in a little bit. So the three there are three titans. Olamod, the Ceaseless Hunger. Kizilk, Keslik, something like that. And there was a third one, but I can't remember him off the top of my head. I'll get to it when I get to it. I'll come up with I'll get the name soon. And they were awoken and they decided to start tearing up the plane again. Well the plane itself, dealing with it, created the royal. For those of you who have who played Magic Origins on Steam, you'll understand where this is going. The Royal's the thing that you go to. You battle the Royal, the Royal leads you up into the mountains. The mountains lead you to where you have to fight the Eldrazi. Well, as they fought the Eldrazi, um, Planeswalkers started going in there, trying to fight them, and they this is how this whole set kind of bolsters them. The Eldrazi have a lot of different ways to hurt people. They have what's called an adjust, which is when it deals combat damage to a player, when it ta attacks, when it's physically tapped, it will cause that player to exile top card of their library. Well, as it's doing this, if that card is, let's say, mana or creature or anything like that, it goes, oh wait, it can't be summoned, it can't be used. Um, the other thing, the other special ability that they use is called Annihilate. And this is more geared towards the Titans, the bigger creatures, like uh, Ulamog and uh, Kazilk, not Kazilk, uh, the Id that betrays, um, there's another one with a name, I can't think of it. The, the Bane of Galavad. I think that's the name of it. It doesn't say Annihilator, but it, it you kind of get it with the wording. It says Exile to Permanence from the, the battlefield. And what that does is, when you swing with one creature, your opponent has to discard two permanents. Creatures, lands, whatever. And it's their discard, say they have an army, and they swing, and you swing out. As they're discarding creatures, the it that betrays, because you've been sacrificed, 
brings them back to life on your side of the field. That's why I like this card so much. Um, another thing that the Eldrazi's have is a lot of big hit points, life points, power and toughness, if you will. Um, 11 11 is the, it that betrays, I think it's 7 5 or 7 10 for Bane. But it's really, you know, they're really cool looking creatures. I mean, it's. Hello? There's one right here. Me. 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 You know, and it, it's. They're, I play magic with my friends, and one of my friends is like, I can't wait till you and I go one on one. I'm like, yeah, you're, you may win, but I'm not gonna give up until I beat you. But anyways, that's another story for another time. But, you know, getting back to the, to the Eldrazi, you know, they, they've got so many creatures now. I mean, they're, they're, they're the void, they're colorless. You can't target, like, a blue spell at them or a black spell because they, they, what color are they? They're, they're nothing. They're they're, they're they're ethereal spiritual creatures, you know. So if you're into Magic the Gathering, I say check out the Battle for Zendikar and the Eldrazi. And have a great day, guys.